Okay, so let's talk turkey. So why is this bird called a turkey when it's actually native to North America? And what's it called in Turkey? Or anywhere else in the world for that matter? Allow me to explain. And I'll try not to be too dry. That's a turkey reference. Because turkey's quite a dry meat. So the story starts not with the bird that we call turkey, but with another bird, this flashy feathered fellow called the helmeted guinea fowl. That's not native to North America, it's native to parts of Africa. And apparently it's delicious. So delicious in fact that the Europeans couldn't get enough of it in the 15th and 16th centuries and started importing it. Now the traders who imported it from Africa and into Europe were from Constantinople. They were Turks. And in turn, the bird that they brought with them became known as turkey cock. Which definitely isn't hilarious. And over time, turkey cock was abbreviated to just turkey. So why did that word turkey transfer to the bird that we now refer to as turkey? Well, there are a couple of theories about that. Theory number one. The Spanish conquistadors who were exploring the New World brought back some of the big birds that they found when they were there. When people were eating them, they thought, this is tasty and it's exotic, like that other bird, and started calling it turkey too. That means that eventually the English travelled over to what's now the United States and told the people who were living there that the bird that they had domesticated some thousand years ago was actually from 5,000 miles away. Typical Brits, eh? Theory number two goes that none of that stuff about the Spanish conquistadors bringing it over to Europe happened. Simply that the Brits arrived in North America, saw the big bird there, thought, that's like that bird we're calling turkey back in Europe. Let's call that one turkey too. Either way, the reason we call turkey turkey, even though it's not from Turkey, is not because of the bird that we call turkey, but because of another bird that comes from Africa. Simple. So what's a turkey called in Turkey? Well, it's called a Hindi, because for some reason they think it's from India. We don't know exactly why that is, but it might be because of the same misapprehension that means we call the West Indies the West Indies, even though they're not in India. There was this confusion about the new world uh, supposedly being part of India. I popped a little video about this on TikTok, because yes, I do TikTok these days. And I got lots of comments. And in between the ones that were just telling me I looked like Alan Partridge or Neville Longbottom, or apparently the mum from Friday Night Dinner, were lots of people telling me what Turkey is called, where they're from. It's amazing that lots of languages have different names for this one bird, many of which are geographical references, and all of which are totally wrong. So let's map these out. So in English, it's called Turkey, and in Turkey, they think it's from India. Well, they're not the only ones that think it's from India. The French word dand comes from the French phrase for from India. The Dutch also think it's Indian, and lots of the Slavic languages refer to it as Indian as well, as does Hebrew. So what's it called in India? Well, in India, it's called Turkey. Meanwhile, the Malaysians call it Dutch chicken, and the Cambodians call it French chicken. One of the Arabic words for it is habash, and that's a reference to East Africa. So they're right about where the guinea fowl comes from, but they're not right about where the turkey comes from. So does anybody get it right? Well, the closest are perhaps the Portuguese, because they call it Peru. They're kind of on the right landmass, but actually turkey isn't native to Peru. So what should we be calling the turkey? Should we be calling it a North America? Well, that doesn't sound right. But a good way to go might be to call it by the names that the Native Americans called it by. The problem is, they're impossible to say. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please do give it a like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have already, thank you very much. And why not share this video? Perhaps it'll brighten up someone's Christmas. Bye. Gobble, gobble.